boy, 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 with that boy, 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 where's that boy, 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 with that boy, 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 where's that boy, boy, boy. Bye. Come, boy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of a rather British Review. And yes, it is I, Michael Burhan, of course, the man of mystery, the man of a thousand different game reviews. Yeah, that worked, I think. And I'm here today to review an awesome budget title. So make sure that you strap on your basketball sneakers, you grab your copy of steel, and you rub your magic lamps, because Kazam! We are talking Shaq Fu, a legend reloaded. Now this review is going to be a little bit different, as we're going to be doing a comparison between the first game and its sequel. So we'll be talking a lot about exactly what this game has to offer, and also how it compares to the original. Shaq Fu is a 2D fighting game released on the Sega Mega Drive and the SNES on October 28th, 1994. It was ported to the Sega Game Gear, Game Boy and the Amiga platforms in 1995. The game was developed by now defunct Delphin Software International and the game is considered one of the worst games of all time. Now Shaq Fu was rather an expensive title and it was a way to cash in on Shaquille O'Neal's name. He was in everything from hip hop albums to movies and really bad movies and skincare commercials. In the game's story, Shaquille O'Neal walks into a dojo when heading to a charity basketball game in Tokyo, Japan. After speaking with Luotsu, a martial arts master, Shaq goes for another dimension, the second world, where he must rescue a young boy named Nizu from the evil mother Set Ra. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. It was more of a fighting style, Street Fighter-esque type fighting game, which really didn't have much to it. It does have its loyal fan base, as it gave birth to Shaq Fu, a legend reborn on Indiegogo as a crowdfunded campaign that was originally supposed to be a same type of game as its predecessor, but the enhanced graphics and different style of gameplay, of course. Honestly, one of my favourite little budget titles, and I've played through it on various different settings, from easy to hard, and I also did a comparison on both the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch. But in terms of comparisons between the two games, the first game was more based on Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, so it's more of a beat em up where this one was a side-scrolling brawler. The funding goal was 450,000. I was funded with 473,884. The game was also delayed due to some unexpected licensing issues and thus came a reworked and changed style of game. Gone is the Street Fighter style of its predecessor and now a side-scrolling beat-em-up. The fighting style isn't the only thing that differs, as you now only have one main character. Playing the title character of Shaq, who is adopted by a peasant woman and trained by Ye Ye, an ancient Chinese master in Wu Xing. Controls are fixed and the analog stick moves Shaq along the screen as Y unleashes a flurry of punches and kicks. The controls are fixed. And as with the Switch version, the analog stick moves Shaq along the screen. Y unleashes a flurry of punches and kicks and builds up your kick meter. As you unleash size 22 attacks, sometimes spin kicks, your region-specific stereotypical foes straight from the TV to the Switch touchscreen in a welcome homage to TMNT4, Turtles in Time. You know, the good one, not the, the terrible one that we got from Ubisoft. Yeah. These do need to charge up, so you'll need to keep pounding on that wire button and keep hitting your enemies so that can happen. LNR allows you to dash, which lets Shaq stun a group of foes ready to receive some punishment. ZL and ZR are either used to pick up weapons left by the ground by your foes or perform certain actions. You can either kill or disable your foes. Last but certainly not least, flickering the right analog stick up and down lets Shaq roll back and forth and useful at evading techniques. And it was also best used for bosses and some other regular raised capable enemies. The first level will certainly put you through your paces, of course. 
The graphics employ simple cartoonish models and they chug along nicely even when the screen gets busier. Backgrounds are varied and themed around each region as you take on your journey. Every new area has an assortment of enemies which fit into the boss. Personally, the screen on the PlayStation 4 tends to glitch, not allowing you to actually evade or move from level to your next boss. Things also went pretty smoothly until the boss battle with Diamond, as she may be the best imitation in the game, but sadly real life person is probably less annoying than the multiple times the game locked up during this fight. Completion time is around about 2.5 hours with glitches included and a solid two hours on easy. I would probably get it for the Xbox One or Switch as the PS4 version is very, very glitchy despite the game overall quality and fun. Even on hard, I was able to mow down all the enemies and defeat them using Shaq's armor and also a Shaqtus. But these are the only issues that I have with the game. It's a really great title. Aesthetically, it's very pleasing. It's got beautiful animations and art styles. The cutscenes are great and the voiceovers are hilarious. It's a very fun romp if you're looking for a game to kind of purchase before you go for your next AAA title. As with its predecessor, it was kind of trying to take itself too seriously, which was rather weird as you had Shaq defeating loads of different enemies and monsters, and it was exceedingly hard because in the 8-bit and 16-bit era, what they tried to do was make games excessively hard so we couldn't complete them very easily, so it would increase the game time. Whoever voiced the character of Ye Ye was simply hilarious. Having this little old man be, have him as a little bit of a pervy sage, similar to Master Roshi in the Dragon Ball series. And Shaq himself would always come out with quips and fun little puns talking about pop culture and also mocking himself from time to time. The game is hilariously good and it made me want to play it multiple times. Hopefully the DLC will fix any glitches that they have in terms of the game itself so it allows it to play a little bit more smoothly. But what I would suggest is to hold out for the physical copy of the game because you get bonus DLC with it and extra little features to the game that would extend the playtime. The playtime really grinded my gears. If you're looking for a game that's like $20 or $17.99 here in the United Kingdom, you really want something that can hold your attention at least for four to eight hours. Shaq Fu Legend Reloaded didn't do that. And that's kind of where the problem is for the digital only part of the game. I'm not saying that physically it won't hold your attention, but there is a lot to be desired here. I even had my best friend who was a casual gamer play through the entirety of the game and she loved it and she wanted to play again and again. But if someone like me can play through this game and beat it on both easy and hard and literally not break a sweat, there's a problem. As I said, the physical copy of the game itself will have DLC. So there's no issue in terms of that. Plus I'm hearing that they are rolling out with DLC to extend the playtime on this. Now. As I always do, I give my games a score between 1 being the worst and 5 being the best. I give Shaq Fu A Legend Reloaded a 3.2. It's great to pick up and play, but at the same time, I wouldn't recommend it if you're paying for the DLC version only. I would buy physical. Because the physical copy you get so much more. There's another game that's included within it, and also there is some extra DLC, and I do hope when they do eventually release it that the bug fixes will be in place to make sure that the game doesn't crash. But that's pretty much it. Tell me what you guys think of this game. Do you like this game? Do you think it's something that's a little to be desired? It is, of course, much better than its predecessor, and I will say that for a fact, and I did enjoy it when I played it. So make sure guys that you leave a comment below and let me know your feelings on the game. And just for you, if you like Nerd Genius, you subscribe to the channel and you also leave a comment below, I'm gonna be running a little competition. <gasps> he runs a competition? No, Mike's too cheap for that. Yes, I am giving away a physical copy of Shaq Fu, A Legend Reloaded on a console of your choice. This is to anybody who lives in the United States and the United Kingdom. If you want a copy of the physical version of this, which includes all the bonus DLC as well, on top of that, then all you have to do is like my channel, comment on this video, and make sure that you subscribe. And do me a little favor and share it with your friends and family. I will basically go through the rest of the week 
and see which is the best comment. And what I will do is I will pick up the best and I will award that person the game. So I'll make sure I inbox you and you give me your details. I can do it via Facebook. I can also do it via YouTube. Either way, I don't really mind. And as always, hey, this is... Is your name okay. Michael Burhan? Yeah, I heard you were talking smack about my game, man. Yeah, I, I understand that. That's That's fine. You're telling me that, that I didn't like your game, but the reason why I didn't like your game was because of the fact that it's, you know, a little bit too easy. Well, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that you're talking smack yeah, about my totally. game. Yeah, I would. I can't wait for the physical release of this game because I have played the hidden DLC, which I'm told I'm not allowed to tell anyone about. Shaq Fu is a game that I love to play. Yeah, I get that, Shaq, but what am I supposed to do here? And as far as I'm concerned, the game is amazing. 10 out of 10. No, I said 10 out of 10. It's not a bad review. It's a moderate freaking rating. You know, it's. I still enjoyed the game, I still liked it. Who do you think you are, man? Have you actually played games? Have you made a game? I get that. I totally get that. I understand where you're coming from. But think about it from my perspective here. I'm an honest game reviewer. I'm doing an honest job here, trying to explain to people about why they should purchase it. And I gave it a good go. Well, I'm telling you, next time you try and do a review like that in one okay, of my no, games, I'm going to come here coming, and whooshing so. your ass. You understand me? Fair enough. You can kick my ass later, okay? Yeah, shack out, baby. Symbol of a lotus flower. His teenage body like new land.